Today, we're going to make the Octobot really walk. And it's not just in a straight line, no. We're just now finding out that maybe one of the motors wasn't working. Does it have enough power to pull a car? So, do you think the piston can handle it? But this story goes way back. It didn't start now in 2024, no. It started in 2014 when we came up with that mechanism, that horse that was the automaton. The automaton, a white wooden horse. Then we made one of those, but entirely out of popsicle sticks. I started wanting to make an Octobot, like a big robot. And we made a robot weighing over 200 kilos with Petrobras and the federal government. We'll begin on the straight in the bamboo grove, followed by an uphill test. And then comes a more off-road part until we reach a track to do a speed test and another strength test. Whether he manages to overcome all the challenges or not, just look at how much we've learned so far. We cut aluminum with water. We learned how to weld. We built a full-size prototype. We did several torquey tests to see if the gears could handle it. A lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. Many mistakes and issues provided valuable lessons. We then entered a phase of pushing the boundaries of 3D printing. We have several things that were 3D printed that are part of the Octobot. We also learned how a servo motor works, opened it up to see what it's like inside. We understood how lithium batteries work. We also learned about a new axial bearing, which ultimately provided stability to the Octobot. We learned a lot together with you. If it doesn't move now, it's fine. No, after all this, we want it to move. This video seems similar to the previous one, but we made some improvements. The main thing was that we walked a lot with it and ended up bending the gear shaft. So now we made a laser cut steel box. It's absolutely aligned. Besides me and Ibrahim, there are a lot more people involved with the Octobot. There's Fernando, who was the mentor of the whole project. Lucas, who brought us the manual so we could build the stick tower and who now has practically built the entire Octobot. And Danny, who is an expert in 3D printing. Tiago, who is our producer. He's the one who plans all the filming and makes sure we're following the schedule properly. On camera is Jansen, whom you never see. And today, Andre is here too, who used to be our cameraman. But every now and then, he's here with us. Nai from our commercial team is assisting with the video production. Savio, our scriptwriter, is the one who organizes this mess into a nice story. Fernandinho, who's here helping with the recording, and then we'll rush to the computer to edit all this material. And besides our team, there are the engineers, Anderson and Ale, who did the project. Leo and Marcelo, who programmed the Octobot. And there's also Guitoledo, who gave us a hand. Hey, Ibre, my dear. I really wanted to be there with you today to see the Octobot working, but unfortunately you made version one of the Octobot to walk on land. I needed the version for it to fly because I'm here in New York in the middle of Times Square, but my heart is there with you. That message you sent me in the middle of the night, so proud. Look, I made the perfect weld. It felt like two brothers doing something together. I'm already here thinking about the next projects. So how about you stop talking and get that Octobot working? We want to see it in action. That's awesome. Thanks, guy. It's going to work. All our tests were by the pool, with the thing walking just two meters. Now it's out in the wild for the first time. Are you ready, Mary? For the first time out in the wild, he puts me in this situation. He turns all the way. One, two, three, and go. This is the slow mode, just so you can get used to it. Oh. How beautiful. It's a little scary. Do you think so? I do. I have to do a 360 degree maneuver, which we haven't tested yet. 
Ah, uh, it did a 360, huh? First test completed. Ouch! Beast in the woods, go. Now we're going uphill. Help! <laughs> Here goes the second test. Speed up a little this way. Look, he's going off the road. We're just now discovering that one of the engines might not have been working. This one is a bit hotter than the other. It keeps moving because a gear synchronizes, transferring power from one side to the other. But then that would explain why that leg is kind of... Because there's one leg that kind of gives out because it doesn't have strength. No, let's move on. It's almost at the end. Guys, we conquered quite a hill. Hill test complete. Ready for the off-road test. Where is the off-road test going to be? Here, Mary, off-road test. Off-road, off the road. Here is off the road. No, it's just a little lawn that cuts through. With one less engine, we're nervous, but it's a beast, and I think a beast performs better on grass. Oh, did one side stop? It stopped. Back up, back up. He can't go very fast. It's here. Look, this foot would have to lift. He would have to go forward to come back, but he can't because there's a little hill here. What was that? He broke a tooth. That was in the script. The tow truck is already on its way. It broke. There's even a technician already. We agreed, Mary. We're going to replace everything. Replace the three that haven't broken yet. The good thing is we haven't even taken down the pit stop. But he only lifts his little paw just a little bit. It's like a lowered car. And since the ground is uneven, there are some mounds of dirt. The poor thing keeps bumping. You're embarrassed to admit he failed the off-road test. No, I think it's worth doing a little more testing. We can make a little exception. At least we can line him up on a straight path that we think is more safe. I think so, but if he breaks his tooth again, that's it. If he breaks it, that's it. But at least he'll pass the recovery with merit. Now it's gonna happen, huh? Five, four, Three, two, one. You beat the off-road challenge, huh? Off-road check! Off-road check! Did you guys notice that the thing is kind of slow? It looks like a turtle, but that's okay. We're gonna increase the speed. The team is programming it now to set it to the maximum speed the engine can handle. We were at about 40% of the speed. Now, first, we're going to do a test at 60%, then at 80%, and finally at 100% speed. Give it a little start. Look, now it's rougher, right? Now it's at maximum speed. That was pretty smooth. Let's set it to 80% now. I think it lost its teeth pretty badly. It's going to need dentures here. Wow! Oh no. You broke the big one. You broke the big one. Yeah, the big one is already another level of work. If we do a crossing at the maximum speed it could handle, which was 60. We're going to do a test now. A straight line of 100 meters. Let's see how long it takes. 100 meters flat. Go! Well, it's not exactly fast, right? But he can get there. Getting there. He's getting there.
6 minutes and 40 seconds, so... With a lot of optimism, one kilometer per hour. Despite everything everyone has learned from this series, there are still a lot of people who ask, but what is this Aqaba even for? Vasan Samum. The truth is, we don't think it's going to solve any real problem for humanity. That's not why we made it. But whenever I go to lectures or when we launch a book, I meet a lot of people who decided to study engineering, physics, chemistry, science because of the crazy projects we've done. The journey of Octobot really serves to inspire a new generation. And there's a place we really like, Febreze, a huge science and engineering fair that takes place every year at the University of Sao Paulo. Petrobras has sponsored it since the first edition, and Mari and I give out an award. Who will be there next year? Octobot. And whoever goes there, besides meeting our big robot, will see a bunch of amazing projects made by incredible people. And these are the ones we believe will solve real problems. They're the ones who are going to change the world. But does it pull the Amarok or not? It does. I think it can pull the HB20, the Amarok. No, it can't pull that. Can it or can't it? I think it can. The Amarok, I think it can. Now it's the strength test. It's the test we've been most excited to do because one of the great qualities of this Octobot is that it's really strong. What's cool to do? Pull a car. We can't start with the pickup truck as it's too heavy, weighing over two tons. So we borrowed Danny's car and HB20. It can't break, but I doubt it will. Now the challenge for Octobot is to pull this car all the way to that last cone. I've released the handbrake. It's up to you now, Ibere, you and Octobot. Ready? Oh my god. Come on, come on! Who is doubting our little engine? With one less engine, he still pulls the car. The car here doesn't drive itself. Mari, go inside and... Now he's going, let's go. On this side here, you guys. Just a little bit left. Amarok, let's go. And the Amarok doesn't pull, no. Uh, I think it does pull. I have no doubt that it does. I don't think it will. It's too heavy. I think it will. Of course it will. Yeah, I wanted it to pull, but I don't think it will, no. Certainly, he pulled out the HB20. It'll pull, easy. I think it will. It'll pull the Amarok too. I think it can pull it, huh? Octobot is amazing, so it will. Do you want to change your vote, or do you still think so? Vote that it can pull it. Now the challenge will be bigger. Octobot will have to tow an Amarok, but I'll have to start the car because this car has power steering, and if it's off, I won't be able to move the steering wheel, so I'll start the car and leave it in neutral. Octobot will take it somewhere. Let's go. No crying. He'll make it. Wow, it popped a wheelie. It popped a wheelie. Look at this. I'm going to sit on top. I'm going to sit on top. So they don't say I was being pessimistic. If we push, then it keeps going. It doesn't go in reverse. I had my foot on the brake. I had my foot on the brake. Marty was sabotaging. Now it worked! Who said it wouldn't come? I wanted to see him jump! Guys, it was unintentional, just a habit of a Sao Paulo driver, always keeping my foot on the brake. Is there just a little left? Not much left, not much left. This isn't worth a like. I don't know what is. Now it works, even though Mario doesn't help. I 
I never doubted it. Hey, Ibere, what if we try to pull it ourselves? Tug of war. How many people does it take to hold the Octobot? Go, go, Mary. But he pulled. Yeah, we've reached his limit. Do we have an Octobot? We do. So, do you think people liked it? I think they liked it, but nobody expected that ending. Two cars and three people.